Welcome to my channel. If you like my videos, then kindly subscribe, like, and watch. Thank you. Problem 4.5. There are two portion of this problem. The first part A and part B. So statement of problem is using an allowable stress of 16 ksi determine the largest couple that can be applied to the each pipe. So you have to find M1 and M2. Clear? So let me divide this into two portions. So this is the problem part A and the given data is that you have allowable stress that is equal to 16 ksi. Clear? And uh, if you uh, go through this figure A, the radius of outer radius will be 0 0.5 plus 0 0.1. So outer or outer will be 0 0.6 inch or inner will be 0 0.5 inch. So you can see this is the outer radius, this is R0 and this is the inner radius which is Ri. Clear? So this was given data we have to find the value of moment that is given as M1. So you have to find M1. Solution. So as we know that stress is equal to M y, MC divided by I. Why it is C? Because I am going, we are going to take the distance from this center to the outermost. So that's why I use this formula. So you have to find M. So M will be equal to stress times moment of inertia divided by C. So we will find first I. Now I for solid cylinder is pi by 4 R4. This is for solid cylinder. If the cylinder is or uh, the section is cylindrical and this is the radius for example. This is R. So I for this. Now we have hollow section. So definitely for hollow section or hollow circular section section this i will be equal to pi by 4 or not 4 minus r inner power 4 so we have all this value so you have to put here so that will be equal to pi by 4 into R0 is 0.6 that is 4 minus this is Ri is 0.5 so if you calculate this the, the value of I is 52.7 into 10 raised to power minus 3 inch 4 so we have find I value now what is C we have find the value of i we will go now go to c so what is c c is actually distance from this centroidal axis because it is why it is centroidal axis because this centroidal axis is passing through centroid and c is the distance from centroidal axis to the topmost so this is the total distance this is c and you can see this c is equal to r not so you have put the value of C. So, movement will be equal to stress is given that was 16 KSI. So, 16 into I is 52.7 into 10 raised to power minus 3 and the value of C is actually the R naught which is 0 0.6 inch. So, again if you calculate that the value of movement M1 M1 it comes out to be 1.405 kips into inch. Kips means kilo pound and into inch. So this is the value of M1 that can be applied to the part A of this problem. So now start with the problem B. Again given data is the same for stress, the stress is equal to 16 ksi. Now in part B you can see that the outer radius is this which is 0 0.5 plus 0 0.2. So R outer will be 0 0.7 inch and R inner will be 0 0.6 inch. 
and we have again to find we have to find the moment which is m2 and solution is the same so as we know that this m2 is equal to sigma in uh, into i divided by c so we will have to find the i for the this part b of this hollow section so i i will for this part 2 part b is pi by 4 into r outer which is 0 0.7 inch minus inner which is 0 0.6 inch so this comes out to be i comes out to be 139.49 into 10 raised to power minus 3 inch ki power 4 clear and this uh, if you go back to the moment formula so that is sigma i divided by c so we have we have calculated i what is the value of c so from figure b you can see that c this is if this is the centroidal axis because it is passing through centroid so c is the distance from center to the top most layer and this is c and this is equal to 0.7 inch so you have to put the value of c sigma is 16 i is 139.49 divided by c is 0 0.7 clear and if you again calculate all these values so the moment for the second portion of this hollow cylinder comes out to be 3.19 kips into inch so the end conclusion is that if I erase all these things so so the, the value of this moment is 1.49405 kips into inch and the value of this m2 is 3.19 kips into inch so this was the solution of problem 4.5 thank you for watching the video if you have any question you can ask in comment section